I've lived in Ohio my entire life except for when I served in uh, the Navy and even then I paid Ohio taxes. When I went to vote, I went into the hall and I looked up my name. And I looked and I looked, but I didn't see my name. While I was at work on my lunch hour, I uh, tried to Google and to see, well, did I do something wrong? Or I didn't quite understand why, you know, I wouldn't be on the list. I had voted there before. And then I ran across information on the purge that the state of Ohio was doing on uh, inactive voters. Tens of thousands of Ohioans struck from voter rolls after an illegal purge. Last year, Ohio's 20 most populous counties purged more than 200,000 inactive voters. Ohio Secretary of State John Husted illegally removed more than a million voters who hadn't cast ballots in six years. I, I didn't think I was required to vote at every election. You know, I, I think I went through a period, uh, you know, after my mother's death that I wasn't interested in voting. And I didn't think it did a whole lot of good, so I didn't vote for one presidential election, and they told me uh, another midterm election. I don't know what was wrong with that. I really started thinking, well, what does it matter that I didn't vote? So I wrote an Andy angry letter to uh, the Secretary of State. The U.S. Supreme Court has agreed to hear the case involving the removal from Ohio's voter rolls, people who hadn't cast the ballot for six years. This case will have significant impact on what states believe they can do in order to purge voters off of the rolls, and it could have very significant implications for voters all over the country. I didn't really expect things to go this far. And I believe, you know, if you can't have your fundamental right of voting, what do you have? You don't have nothing.